A good time to perform preventive maintenance on your autoclave is after 300 cycles. The steam, water, exhaust, and air solenoid valves are important components to check. In this video, we will demonstrate how to rebuild a valve that needs to be refreshed. First, be sure all steam and water valves are turned off and all electrical power is disconnected. The unit needs to be empty of all steam pressure before any maintenance can be done safely. You will need the following tools to repair a solenoid valve. A crescent wrench. A Phillips head screwdriver. A small flathead screwdriver. And a solenoid valve repair kit. The white Teflon diaphragm rebuild kits should be used for the incoming steam solenoids and the black diaphragm rebuild kits should be used for exhaust, air, and water solenoid valves. Remove the old coil by removing the nut and washer with your crescent wrench. Use the supplied keyed wrench nut to remove the stem. Remove the stem and discard the old spring. With your small flathead screwdriver, remove the old stem o-ring and discard. Be careful not to damage the threads while removing this o-ring. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, Remove the four screws securing the cover to the body and separate the cover from the body. After removing the cover from the body, remove the old diaphragm assembly and discard. Again, take your small flathead screwdriver to remove and discard the old body o-ring. While the valve is apart, you should inspect the center hole or seat for debris and wear. If this area has any buildup or appears rough and damaged, the whole valve may need to be replaced. Your new body o-ring can be placed on the body. Press it in. Put the new diaphragm assembly on top of the body. Next, make sure the marking on the cover, the tab on the diaphragm assembly, and the marking on the bottom of the solenoid are all facing the same direction. The tab on the repair kit should be oriented on the outside of the valve. Secure the cover to the body using the four Phillips head screws. Tighten the screws with a torque of 65 to 85 inch pounds. Next, place your new small stem o-ring on the cover and then Place your new spring in the shaft. Tighten the stem back on the cover, again using the supplied keyed wrench nut and a crescent wrench. Tighten the sleeve assembly with an input torque of 130 to 150 inch pounds. Reposition the coil assembly on the sleeve. Slide the washer over the sleeve. 
and tighten the coil assembly nut with a torque of 43 to 53 inch pounds. For more information and instructional videos, please visit us at consterol.com.